This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky drops out of the Associated Press Top 10 rankings, and now the basketball cats will have to wait until the day after Santa comes to play their next game. Louisville comes to Rupp Arena Saturday. Jamal Murray's seven second half three balls helped against Ohio State, but it wasn't enough. The Cats still lose by seven points, dropping them to number 12 in the new AP poll. Head coach John Calipari knows they're still the guys that everyone's coming for. A couple other plays that, you know, are slipping my mind that I talked to him about after. I just went down to seven, eight plays that were made, you know, just can't make. I mean, and, and we're good enough. We'll, we'll learn. It's just, you know, now the schedule doesn't get any easier from this point. Next game, next game, next game. You're in the league. You're in the league. You're on the road. And, you know, people smell blood. They'll come after us. It's just how it is. So Kentucky drops to number 12. Louisville moves up three spots to number 16. It's the battle for the Bluegrass Saturday at Rupp Arena. Noon tip time right here on WYMT. The Wildcats have beat the Cardinals the last three times they have played. Bowl season in full swing. Western Kentucky looking to secure its second ever bowl victory at the FBS level. Last year they won in the Bahamas. This year the Hilltoppers are in Miami. So they're bowling and they're beaching. It's the fourth quarter right now and Western leads 38-35. South Florida just tried to kick a field goal, but they missed, and it's actually 45 to uh, 35 now because Western just converted another touchdown. Just a couple minutes left in that game. We'll have highlights tonight at 11. As we enter week 18 of the high school sports season, it's the gift that never stops giving. Well, at least until April. You pike top like contender time from week 17. Southwestern at Cordia, that's where we start. Danny Butts, but no. Anthony Nelson, but yes. Goodness, crank that thing, take another look. Nelson jamming on the Warriors. Second contender, Jordan Perry, Morgan County. How's your Euro step? Yeah, that's nice. Harlan, Harlan County time winding down in the first quarter. Couple of seconds remaining, the heave from midcourt. Good for Killian Ledford. <laughs> Uh, nice shot, but the Green Dragons lose. Black Bears stay perfect. Next nominee, opening tip of Hazard Buckhorn. Connor Hoskins wastes no time. That's a three ball in less than three seconds of the game. Wildcats, they beat the Bulldogs. Fifth, you pike top play contender, Leslie County's Haley Mullins. I'm not sure what that is. Take another look. A two-handed behind-the-back basket. That's what I wrote on the shot sheet. I guess that's what we'll call it. Sixth nominee, Lawrence County, Timmy. That's Timmy Dalton off the steal. Bulldogs, along with Harvard County, are the only undefeated teams left in the mountains. Last nominee, same game. It's the other Dalton. That's Robert. Brandon Richardson with a nice feed there. To vote on the UPAC top play contenders, go to the sports page on WYMT.com. And, of course, we'll count them down at uh, the top five on Thursday at six. Also want to mention the Kentucky women remain undefeated with the win over number 13 Duke last night. They are now up to number seven in the Associated Press top 25 poll. More on that at 11. That's sports. We'll be back after this.